Welcome back to another My Hero Academia anime vs manga comparison video breaking down season 6 episode 16 The Hellish Todoroki Family part 2 which happens to be the same title as chapter 300. We'll be going over all of the changes made from the manga to anime adaptation and of course if you are new to this channel then be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so that way you don't miss a video. And if you want to further support the channel then please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the join button. To start things off the episode begins with Hawks' origin story giving us a brand new anime only scene showing Hawks as a kid watching a Prime All Might in his Silver Age costume and Endeavor saving civilians and stopping villains on TV. This anime only scene replaces the panel of the Golden Age All Might and Endeavor on different floating TVs. I do really like the detail in the anime though how since Hawks was a child watching these heroes on TV that All Might is depicted in his Silver Age suit and not in his Golden Age suit like in the manga. Plus the added scene of Hawks sitting on top of a building looking down at the city in search of anything happening was a nice touch as we only ever hear about him sneaking into the city by himself but we never actually get to see it. In the Takami household we get some added shots of the horrible living conditions Hawks had to deal with along with another added shot showing how separated and broken Hawks' family was. When Hawks learns about Endeavor taking down his dad which was shown to us in an anime only seen back in the Endeavor agency arc the anime sadly removes the scene of the Endeavor plush coming to life when Hawks states that fantasy became reality. It's a scene that really showed how Hawks' perspective changed on heroes on that day that I wish was adapted. It's also a little mini reference to the beginning of the series when Deku says that fantasy became reality because of quirks. As we see Hawks' mom struggle to survive in society once Takami is gone, the anime removes the panel of a fallen bird birdcage which symbolized how Hawks was kind of free but not totally free yet. Which is kind of sad how he left one birdcage to then be entrapped in another birdcage and not totally free because of the hero commission later recruiting him. Which is why when Hawks says he's finally free of his shackles once the hero commission is gone and that his mother was finally gone from his life, hit so different because of this panel. Best Genius recalling Hawks' visit looks to have added in shock of Best Genus knowing what Hawks was up to on the day he went to visit him. Also, I love how the anime creatively showed the flashbacks of Dobby seeing Best Genus' body on the car windows. The anime also adds in shots of Dobby and Hawks looking at Best Genus in a tube being preserved to turn him into a Nomu. This is by far one of my favorite additions to the anime since we really never got to see what truly was going on with Best Genus during the time he went missing. The glutton god gets a mini added shot of him stealing food. Hawks gets an added scene when he sees the distrust in heroes growing bigger and Hawks' dialogue of him calling out for his mother is removed in the anime. The Endeavor plush got an added close-up shot as well. After the intermission, the panels of the villain's silhouettes and the Nomu pointing at themselves were replaced with shots of Hawks and Best Genus talking about it, which means that the narration said by Deku in the manga is instead said by Hawks. Villains causing havoc on the streets and civilians being afraid were also added in. Even the symbolism of the glass of water breaking when Hawks mentions the frustration built up in society over the hero's consistent failures was removed in the anime. Yaroi Musha's inner dialogue stating that all he ever wanted was love and respect was taken out of the anime as well. This line in the manga always felt like Horikoshi's way of shedding more light onto the fact that even heroes at the very top weren't in it for the most heroic reasons. Yaroi definitely being a hero who just quit once being a hero became too difficult. In the end, leaving us with only the truest of heroes. We also get some added shots showing heroes resigning, which one of my favorite shots being the one hero who said he needed a new line of works costume being in the trash. It gave me Spider-Man No More vibes. Shout out to my comic book nerds out there. Stain is a lot less wet in the anime and carrying on from the last episode, the Toad Doctor makes his appearance for another Super Mario Easter egg. Endeavor crying got me super emotional when it went down. I'm a 
little upset that his line saying my son is a mass murderer yet I can't fight him was changed to I cannot fight my own son. The manga line just hit way harder in the way that you can tell that despite what Dobby has done in the past, that's still his son who he still loves very much. Regardless, the delivery of the voice acting and the use of the OST was perfect and elevated this scene to really pull at the heartstrings. We also get some bonus shots of Natsu, Fuyumi, and Shoto as Endeavor is pouring his heart out to them. For the final change in the episode, we get an added shot of the Todoroki family all in Endeavor's room. The episode ends with Rei and the rest of the family coming in to talk about their family and Toya. Now, episode 16 covers a total of two chapters, them being chapter 299 and chapter 300. This episode was packed full of emotions from Hawks' origin story to the Endeavor hospital scene and was mostly perfect. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on episode 129. Did you enjoy the episode? Let me know everything in the comment section below. With that said, thanks for tuning in to another My Hero Academia anime versus manga comparison video. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to Detroit smash that like button below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.